So I've got a pool here that's always out in direct sun here down in Texas. It's open year round and keeping tabs on the cyanuric acid or the CYA level uh, is important to me because it, it really helps keep my chlorine as effective as it can be. I try to keep the number at 50 parts per million um, or less, you know, in that range of 30 to 50. But I'm trying to keep it at the higher end just because of the direct sunlight that my pool's in all the time. So we're going to do some tests and uh, see where we're at and then make some adjustments to get that level up to 50. I'm going to show you how to do a cyanuric acid test with a Taylor K2006 test kit. So with this test kit, you're going to be following the instructions here in the white section in the back of the cover. So basically, you're going to take my bottle of water from the pool, fill up this small bottle they provide just to the 7, seven milliliter mark, which is right about there. Then going to take... Uh, this reagent number 13 and fill the rest up to the 14 milliliter mark. So then when you have that done, going to put the cap on, shake it up for 30 seconds. And then we're going to take this solution and we're going to pour it into this small tube here. We're going to use the readings on the right side, go from 100 up to 30. And then we're going to look right down the middle there where you see that black dot. And that black dot's going to be our indicator. So as long as we can see the black dot, we'll keep putting fluid until it's totally washed away. And then we'll look at the reading and see what we got. So I filled it up to about the 70 line and you can still see the dot. Here's about the 50 line. Go a little bit more. I'm, a, I'm in between the 30 and the 40 line. Just barely see it. And this is pretty much the minimum reading for it that it'll go and we're just barely washing out at, at about 30 so I think CYA currently for this pool is about 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of tablets I'm gonna put 10 of them in here just load them into this feeder up here and... all right so I got 10 tablets loaded into the feeder uh, these are trichlor. They're a half pound each. So that's five pounds of trichlor. About half of that is stabilizer. So that means you're going to have about 14 parts per million of CYA increase by filling up this uh, feeder here with trichlor. So that batch of 10 tablets has gone through the system at this point. The chlorinator is empty. And I took the uh, pool water to Leslie's to do a test and have them give me a, uh, an official uh, CYA number. They have a, a machine that uses <clears throat> a, um, an optical sensor to do the CYA test. So I was thinking it might be a little more accurate than mine with my Taylor test kit. So uh, here's my results. And you can see here they're showing about 47 on CYA, which is just about what I would expect. You know, my last test came in at about 30. Uh, best I can tell and then by adding those 10 tablets I should have added about 14 parts per million so that would have been like 44 and uh, they're saying 47 so I mean none of this stuff is that precise but I think this puts me in the ballpark of where I wanted to be I may use another uh, five or six more tablets here in another month to see where the CYA is at again but for the summer as I go in this is where I want to be this is the uh, the level I want is around 50 on the high side of that range of 30 to 50 for CYA on my given pool. So, hey, I hope this helped you to um, figure out how to dial in your CYA level for your pool and um, the, the various tests you need to do to, to verify it and, and the ways you can use stabilized tablets to bring the level back up. And uh, if this helped you out, please give the video a thumbs up uh, and subscribe, and uh, that'll help others find it as well. 
and I hope you have a great day.